Monsieur Bonaparte. Ah, excuse me, I was expecting someone else. Monsieur Godoy, do you have a moment? Your timing's awkward, Dorishi. I'm expecting someone. I haven't time. Please leave me. Very well. I won't insist. Hmm. Looks like he only wants to speak to Bonaparte. I know what I have to do if I want to speak to him. Monsieur Bonaparte. Louis, do you want something? Yes. For you to test the Duke's loyalty, since he'll only speak to you. Well... Whatever it is, I haven't the time. The conference will shortly begin, and I want to be focused. Uh, sorry. Come back and see me afterwards. I see I haven't much choice. Seeing as Godoy will only talk to Bonaparte, and Bonaparte will talk to no one, I have no other choice but to borrow his body. Nothing personal here, Napoleon. Look, I'm sorry. This conference is of utmost importance to me, and I should like to be prepared for it. Concentrate, Louis. You don't mind if I sit down, do you? I don't want to fall flat on my face when my spirit passes inside you. No, I don't think you've understood, Derichet. Link into his thoughts, Louis. Come on. I said I did not want to be disturbed. That's it. I sense something. What word in Leave Me Alone do you not understand? Come on, just keep going and get inside his mind. Now! Too bad for you. You can't say that I haven't. Thank you very much for the loan of this body, monsieur. Right. Let's not waste any more time, Louis. Godoy is waiting. Ah, there you are at last, Bonaparte. My lord Duke. What a typically French attitude. Come, you let's are not... 20 minutes late. Without the least excuse. I am risking a lot, monsieur. You seem to forget. Uh, please excuse me. Well, what did you want to see me about? Hmm. So, let's see whose side he's really on. I wanted to be sure. You are still going to vote for Mortimer, as planned, yes? Mortimer? What the devil are you talking about, Bonaparte? I am on Holmes' side, and I intend to vote against Mortimer's project. What on earth is wrong with him? He seems very odd. My Lord Duke, I never once dreamed of you playing on both sides of the fence. But uh, I was given to understand that you and uh, Lord Mortimer do have a few interests in common. But I... I don't know what on earth you are talking about. Lord Mortimer and myself may agree on a number of subjects, but I am and shall always remain loyal to Sir Gregory. You see, there is no reason to think that I could ever side with Mortimer. Oh, that's a pity. He was going to make you an offer. What are you talking about? Make yourself clear. I do not understand you. This doesn't seem like the way Mortimer normally proceeds. I'll know if he's lying or not by what he has to offer. Come on, my Lord Duke. We both know very well what we are talking about. I thank you for not wasting my time. I never dreamed of it, Monsieur. I have a fair idea as to your presence here, but for some reason... something doesn't seem quite right. I... I am somewhat lost, to tell the truth. <laughs> And this just isn't like you. I wonder if uh, it really is you, in fact. What? You're just fishing around because you're the one who's changed sides. What? What on earth are you talking about? You're working for Holm. Admit it. No, I'm not. Don't be ridiculous. He's asked you to flush out the traitors in his team, hasn't he? Of course he hasn't. Admit it. I'm sure he's lying. I cannot make out what it is, but something is very wrong here. I will not fall into a trap. Are you joking? Upon my honor, I urge you to believe that I am not the sort to play on both sides of the fence, monsieur. Very well, very well. There is no point getting on your high horse. If you are really working for Mortimer, why did he task you to question me like this? I do not understand. If he really, really is here on behalf of Mortimer, all he would have to do is tell me the code we agreed upon. Whatever happens, if he doesn't say hummingbird, it means I've fallen into a trap. Right. I think we've wasted enough time here. I could not agree more. Hummingbird. Did you... 
Pardon? You heard me. Hummingbird. At last. Heavens above, why did you not tell me before? I didn't think I would need to. Imbecile! Someone could have caught us. Listen, I'll take your word for it, but tell Mortimer that he's making me run too great a risk. I already gave him my approval, and we agreed not to speak about it on the island. Just imagine for a minute if Holm had caught us. You might not know what he is capable of, but I certainly do. It would be the end of me. The bastard. He really is a traitor. Uh, please excuse me, Duke Manuel, but that wasn't the intention. I shall go and reassure Lord Mortimer about the vote, and uh, I promise to avoid you running any more risks. I hope so. Now please, leave me. We must not be seen together. It's time to get going. <laughs>